Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to be using the Vaznev 9K. Now, in today's gameplay, your boy not only just pops off with a high KD gameplay, but I go so in depth with the decisions I'm making and why I'm making them. But first, let me give you guys the best Vaznev 9K class setup in MW2. So starting off, we have the True Tech Grip. We get Sprint to Fire Speed. That allows my weapon to come up quicker after sprinting. We get ADS Speed, so we can be quick and snappy. We got the 45 round magazine so we can take out multiple enemies without having to reload. I threw in the Bruin cubic comp muzzle to make the recoil control just that much better so we can land a lot more of our shots and that leads to a faster TTK. The thing that brings all this together, the cast one barrel. We get bullet velocity and damage range which make this thing so much stronger and kill quicker at longer range gunfights and then we have the broadside FCT stock where we get aiming stability so that goes towards our accuracy and our weapon we also get sprint speed so we can get it around the map a lot more quickly get more kills and aim down sight speed once again just being quick and snappy with our shots with how fast the ttk is in this game whoever lands the first shot usually ends up getting the kill and then as far as goes for the tuning starting with the rear grip i did ads speed and sprint to fire speed so i just enhanced the pros that our rear grip gave us made them even better the tuning on the muzzle just fully dedicated this thing to recoil control and that's exactly what i tuned it for the tuning on the barrel recoil steadiness damage range those things go hand in hand you're going to be more accurate at those longer ranges while you're doing more damage at those longer ranges and then finally the tuning on the stock aim walking steadiness and aim walking speed which once again go hand in hand when i'm aiming and walking i'm quicker so it makes it harder for the enemies to land shots on me and then my weapon's steady when i'm aiming and walking so i can land more of my own shots i highly recommend sticking around for the gameplay so you guys can learn how to use this new vaznev 9k to the best of its abilities and do me a solid man subscribe to the channel with all those notifications on so you don't miss out on any future banger videos and do me a solid by clicking that thumbs up button take seconds of guys time helps push the video gives us more exposure without further ado man Vaz of 9k inside the mind of frizzy j jr here's how you want to play with it later on me you too homie all right we got ourselves the Vaznev 9k this is the meta weapon of modern warfare 2 if you guys aren't using it already i mean this is what you should be using if you don't have your first ever nuke and you're more of an smg player this is what you need to have in your hands at literally all times man this was the map to be playing i loved it okay we got a little bit of flank going on i still see a lot of people talking about this thing using it i mean it is the most used weapon so it would only make sense for me to use it since that's the case again there's so many different ways of building it which is nice that's what makes it so good it's just many different ways you could use it i'm gonna try to walk you guys through oh he's right there i'll try to walk you guys through this mgb nuke so you can learn how to play with this vaznev build oh he's in there wait bro i was just in there what did he see me in there there we go we got it we're good we got uav up i have my advance again i'm just gonna try to stay close to rangers two of them i'm gonna take one out Yep, there we go. That worked out. Oh, no, no, there's a third. I didn't see that. Okay, we're good. We're good. So my goal is just to stay close range. I'm just going to keep moving so they don't see me. We got, our, we got this UAV up still. I'm, I'm just moving so they don't know where, the, where I'm going to be coming from next. Obviously, all the gunfights I took were pretty much in the same spot. So you want to keep moving, but they keep spawning here. So that's why like, oh, this guy's looking down the... Catch him by surprise. He was looking down there because that's where I, I took out one of his homies before. So he's just trying to catch me where I was before. Now I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep moving, bro. Take them off. The spawns. I have if you guys look at my radar top left hand corner, you see I have my advanced UAV up. So I know where they're gonna be. They don't know where I'm gonna be at. That's what makes this so nice. So I can just kind of pre-aim with how fast the TTK is. It's impossible for them to know where I'm gonna be coming from. This guy's following me. He doesn't know I know he's there, though, because, again, I have that advanced UV up. So my eyes are locked on the radar. I'm just going to keep following them around. There's my MGB. I got my... Oh, look at that. Look at that MGB. Bro, I didn't need to do nothing. I didn't need to do nothing. Literally, I'm just following dots. They don't know where I'm coming from, but I know where they're coming from. They're getting body slammed. There's nothing they could do. Get that VTOL up. We're still on a hot streak. So much game time left. Four and a half minutes. And as you see... Every gunfight I'm putting myself into is catered towards my weapon and the way I built it. It's all up close. I'm not challenging any long range gunfights, nothing even medium range. I'm staying nice and up close. Even, the oh, he's AFK. 
even though you can challenge at medium ranges, I'm playing it real safe. I know I have the most dominant weapon in this entire lobby for up close gunfights. I got myself a little comfy spot on the head glitch here, looking at those different spawn points. If you look at my radar, no one's in that top right corner. So my guess is that they're spawning there and I stand corrected. See, they're spawning in that corner where none of my teammates are. I'm just going to keep playing the sides here. Also the hard points here. So they're going to come play the objective. Yep. See, all right. Reload real quick. I got a teammate over there. There we go. We're good. I'm also defending the headquarter or the hard point because I know this is the objective. They're going to come for it. So I'm just kind of playing my, my cards right. I know they're spawning mid because if you guys take another look at my radar, it's... Oh, shoot. I'm going to throw Nate in there. I'm just going to sit back for a sec here. If you take a look at my radar, all my teammates are where I was initially looking and spawn trapping. So I know all the enemies are back here on this side. And, I, and that is correct. They're all behind us. So I'm going to try to take a safe route. I'm just going to push through mid real quick. Cut through the mid again right here. And on my radar, it shows two guys in the bottom here. So I'm just going to flank them. They're not going to expect it because we were all over there. Two free kills. This guy's AFK. And now we have control again. I'm in their spawn because I, I found like a little bit of a pathway where none of the enemies were. And now I can get up close and personal and take those gunfights again. All right, there's three people there. They know where I'm at. I'm just going to go ahead and... Reload, recoup, recoup. I almost died. Let's just flank all the way around and just attack this from a different angle. They kind of knew where I was at, so boom. Now we're now we're behind them again. I know there's one up here. I saw shots firing. Nice. Two dead. Nice. Now we have control. We got height, and they don't know I'm over here. Okay, we're, we're I think we're okay. Take look at the side window. Nothing. Maybe over here they could be at. Okay, my teammates are coming from there. That means they're going to be in the back where I flanked from in middle. Let's, take, let's see if we're right or not. Okay, middle, nothing. Right window, nothing. Okay, we got a UAV up. They're at the next hard point. So these guys are trying to play a little bit more objective. I'm going to go to this next objective here. I'm just going to play a little bit smart. I don't really need to do nothing crazy. I have my new. We got a UAV up. I'm cruising. I'm chilling. There's nothing to really stress about here because... There we go. Our teammate cleared it out. Now I can just sit up here with teammate. He could send the objective while I defend him. Guy underneath us. We're good. I can kind of push out a little bit more. I saw a guy. Okay. Yeah, they're starting to spawn over here, I think. My teammate's clearing it out. They're spawning back where they originally were. I saw a shadow. Someone's shooting my back. Oh, behind me. I didn't read that. He might have ghost on. No, he didn't have ghost on. Hot timing on its finest. What are we? 56 and 1, bro. 56 and 1. So why did I die there? What happened? Honestly, COD timing. I didn't know there was two people there. If you look at my radar, radar again, maybe you guys saw two people, but I only saw one person. I literally won the gunfight, checked mid again. There's nothing more you could do. I mean, we are 56 straight kills in a row. There's two people up here. Got one, another one there. Nice, doing both those. I know, I knew they were both there because of the UAV. So I felt pretty confident that in that situation. I'm going to cut mid here. We see one. Let me just make sure there's no one behind him. Okay, nothing behind him. I'm just going to push it. Let's watch over here again. Remember, we died over here, so there's there could be quite a bit of enemies. Nice. Nice. All right, I'm going to sit in this corner real quick. Recoup. Call the UAV. Get some information on where the next set of group of people are. Nice. Uh, we're going to go mid again, most likely, because freeing that a little bit. Okay, they're, gonna, they're coming through the last hard point that we have my teammates got that covered i'm just gonna go back where i was because it seemed like nice there's a guy inside okay another one coming through right here i have this uav up so i know where these guys are all at like there's no surprise about what's going on here i know they're still spawning there so i'm just gonna get a nice comfy head glitch here where i'm covered they're not and spawn trap them okay we got middle again there's two of them there i'm not i don't want to push them in. i'm not gonna risk my life i'm just gonna throw an aid and get out of there I didn't get any hits, so... Okay, my teammates are spawning here. That means they're going to be spawning on the other side over here. I'm going to go ahead and take this gunfight. My teammate just died over there. I think he might be trying to capture this. Okay, there's nothing. I'm, still... I'm just going to throw my probe radar. I don't know what to expect. I don't see anything. My teammate died over there. I don't know if he got cleaned up or not. Okay, I'm just going to keep ahead with. Try to get some picks. We're close. You know what I could do here? I actually... Oh, my teammate called his VTOL. I was going to call him my VTOL because that'll give me a UAV ping. It's all good, though. I'm going to go to the... Oh, the game's ending. I got to call my nuke. Never mind. Damn. 
All right, things got a little bit rough at the end. I didn't know what I wanted to do there. It's all good. I'm just going to set the next hard point. Defend it a little bit because I know their enemies are going to be rushing it. They started rushing the hard point a little bit more. They have 100 points on the board. Obviously not enough, but... Okay, I'm just going to sit on the hard point. I'm going to maintain this high KD gameplay we have here. It's pretty good. Final scoreline, 68-1. I don't know. Recently, man, the, these, these high KD gameplays have just been coming out, out of nowhere. Let's get into the next one. You guys appreciate and like the little bit of a, I guess you want to call it a breakdown of, you know, how I got my NGB nuke, all the decisions I made. I think that's one of the more in-depth ones I've done. Now we got a little bit of uh this guy at? Now we got a little bit of a uh, shipment, shipment and some vibes. Just gonna hang out, go for another MGB and whatnot. Um, if you guys want to see me, you know, break down things like that a little bit more, I'll be more than happy to. Oh, I'm dead here. You gotta be kidding. Bro. God damn. Oh. I was gonna play another map. I'm like, bro, just give me some shipment. I got the Vaznev. It'd be kind of silly of me not to play a little bit of shipment. It's crazy because every time I play a non-shipment map, it's I, I love getting those high kill gameplays so I can get into as, into as many gunfights as I possibly can with the weapon I'm covering for the day. And it just never happens, man. I, I just can't get it to work. But I mean, a 68 to 1 KD game, I mean, I think that's more than enough, right? Holy cow, we are frying right now. The movement with this is unbelievable. I love it so much. If this isn't your favorite SMG, I need I need to know. I need to know. Let me know in the comments what your favorite SMG is. Let me go hide real quick while that goes off. Thank you. Do not take me out. They got some spawn protection over there, it seems. Let's just throw an aid. I don't want to. Oh, I suck them. I suck them. I don't want to like push out, make them and just die. We got an advance up. I don't know where they're at, so I kind of panicked and had to call that in immediately. I don't know where these guys are spawning. Lay down here. Use my Mac 10. Cover my back. Nice. Okay. That actually worked out. One of the best close range weapons you could use in this game. Now we're in their spawn. Now they're going to start fumbling everything they're doing. This should be a quick MGB. Man, it's crazy to me that. They can nerf a weapon so many times and it's still this dominant. It's still the best. It, it, that's what's crazy. Cast off seven for you, this. I mean, they tried nerfing these weapons multiple times and it's just, it doesn't want to budge. It's it just still the best, simple. I know you're there, bro. I have an advanced UAV up. That hacks, whatever you want to call it. Whose kill streak is that? Oh, it's a Haas. Oh my God, I almost didn't get out of cover. I almost didn't even hide. I thought that was my teammates. I didn't, I didn't even know the other team was capable of it, like getting some a kill streak like that. MGB, MGB, right before my advanced UV goes away, just like that. But yeah, man. Anytime you guys hear weapon gets nerfed, it it never really means that. I say that. Oh, I'm dead here. I didn't body slammed. I am the best in the entire world. Body slammed your ass. You're terrible at the game. I shouldn't be alive. I'm kind of goofing off right now. I'm not even, like, taking this as serious as I should be. But, yeah, if you guys ever see, oh, weapon nerfed here, weapon nerfed there. Bro, that's never the case. Like, I don't know if you guys remember back on, like, Rebirth, they nerfed the Marco. And they nerfed the, it wasn't the Marco, the Blixen. Bro, back last year, they nerfed that Blixen, no joke, like, probably six times. The thing was still a top, like, top meta weapon. Like they don't really know how to do it. They don't know how to do it. They nerfed the damage on this thing multiple times at a range. I mean, people like to argue that this is still... Oh, my! Oh, I thought my game crashed. Oh, my God. I literally thought my game crashed because that's done. Yeah, people like to argue this is still so dominant at long ranges. It really is just that SMG. It's unbelievable. I love it so much. But, yeah, man, it's just crazy to think they don't know what the hell they're doing with their game. You could have hired me to nerf this weapon a little more easily. I'm just, dude, I'm skating. I'm skating. They don't even know what's happening. They don't even know what's hitting them. They don't know. Oh, whoop. Behind you. Nice. We're looking good. We're still on the same kill sheet, by the way. Keep that in mind. We'll slow this down. Recoup. Woo. Take a little deep breath. Yeah, right now, we're like in the middle. Of, it's crazy, man. We're in the middle of July. And we're, we're just a few months away from the reveal of Modern Warfare 3. It just feels like literally yesterday, like I vividly remember like playing uh, Modern Warfare 2 early, man. I woke up at like five in the morning. 
because I had my, I was on like New Zealand time. I, I remember waking up early, just dude. I felt like a kid on Christmas, ready to make some content. And it's like, what are we four or five months away from that exact feeling again? It, 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 time's just been flying, man. It, it, it's unbelievable. This year was rough. I feel like I say we have this conversation all the time. It's been rough. It, whatever. But it's just nice to have another opportunity at it again. Hopefully, MW3 is good. That's all we could really do at this point is just be hopeful and, and just hope that the game's good. And even if it's not, I'm still going to sit here and make the most of it, man. I'm just excited for just a new opportunity. Not for a new game, just a new opportunity, man. More eyes on the game. People are going to be giving it a go again. First impressions are everything. So I hope everyone's first impressions on the... By the way, we finally died off our streak. I hope everyone's first impressions are absolutely amazing. That's literally what makes or break a game. And I think that's what leads to X Defiance, like, uprise, is the first impression was like, oh my God, this is everything Call of Duty is, and this is what we've been asking for. This is what Call of Duty should be, and it's not. And the first impressions were just so good. People are kind of sticking with it, and they're supporting it. They're supporting it because they're enjoying it, and their first impressions were good. And, you know, MW2 and Warzone 2 failed so bad because people's first impressions were like, bro, this is dog piss. What are we playing? Get my UAV up real quick. Oh my God, you guys are fried. But yeah, there was some leaks that basically confirmed that MW3 is the next game. And in my personal opinion, like another reason why I'm so excited, out of all Infinity Ward games, Modern Warfare 3 is the best one, in my personal opinion. Modern Warfare 3 is the only Infinity War game in my personal top five best Call of Duties of all time. And after that, I mean, it's there's really nothing that's even c close to that. I remember playing MW3 all summer long, literally all summer long. I, I literally had to be told... I was given a pool pass so I can go to the pool and go outside. It was so bad, I literally would just not go outside. Such a good game. Later on, they ended up adding the 2v2, the 3v3 modes with the little small maps. Game changer. Nothing's ever been replicated like that ever since then. They've tried it. Oh, they've tried it. We've gotten gunfight. Not the same. I ended up getting all the gold guns. I hit max. Oh, got my ass beat. You still suck. And even over the summer, they added more prestiges, like five or 10 more. Guess what? I I, I was like, I, I'm not going to go for him. I ended up prestiging. Me and my boy did it together. Still a good friend of mine today, man. All these years later. 10, 10 11 years later, still talk to that man to this day. He ended up doing it with me. We, we got all of our guns gold. Oh, such a good time, man. And it, I'm glad I played during that prime because I have memories from MW3 that I'll never forget, man. Spawn trapping kids in ground war and demolition. Literally, they can't leave their spawn. They just leave the game. It was my second COD game ever. I'm starting to do things like that. We were born for it. Your ass. Hit your shots next time. 112 kills. We almost had a double nuke, but I was too busy talking about my fond memories of MW3. Such a legendary Call of Duty game. Better than the OG MW2. I don't care what anybody says. I think that's the truth. the spawns come over here i'm gonna call my uav real quick i'm gonna send us hard point my, oh wait i'm not even on it not even close to being on it i'm gonna sit on this little corner calling the VTOL. all right let me lock in real quick hold on that's gonna kill me isn't it no don't uh spawning behind me no bro damn it i want to hold the hard point a little bit longer but Why did the time run out so quick? I feel like we had... Oh, no, no. I feel like we had more time left. I don't know what happened. Nades again. I gotta call my nuke in. GB. No one kill me. I mean, I gotta call them. We played some decent objective. Maybe the time... Maybe the game flew by. I was just having a great time remembering the OG MW3. Now, I know for a fact this new one ain't gonna be nothing like that, by the way. It's just, man, that's the duty. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, bro, let's just take the name and... Grab the cash it comes with, and the game's gonna be absolute dog piss. They, they did it this year with MW2, but 133 kills. I mean, no one on the other team didn't stand a chance against this guy right here. I ain't gonna lie.